Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Jeremy Sutton, owner of Servant PT, host of the Servant PT Podcast. Help women 50 and over live a life full of health, family, and fun. Today, I'm going to be talking about testing of your faith produces endurance. So, James 1.3 says, but we know the testing of our faith produces endurance. What does that mean? Um, it means we're going to be tested. Uh, what do you do when you know you're going to be tested? Well, unless you're like me, you study. You don't wait till the last minute. You don't put it all off to right before the test. You study. So, in in our case, if you're you know if you're a Christian, if you're not studying, um, would be studying the Bible. Uh, if you're a business owner, studying would be um, studying you know how to um, market, how to manage, how to hire, how to fire, how to do all that kind of stuff. If you are a stay-at-home mom. Um, Studying would be, uh, you know, caring for your children, caring for your family, caring for your house. If you are a doctor, you'd be, you know, studying diseases, surgeries, things like that. So we have to prepare because life is going to test us. It's going to test us whether we're um, here, whether we're at home, whether we're working, whether we're dealing with people every day. Life tests us every single day, and we have to prepare for that. To not prepare for those tests would be, um, I can't think of the word to use. To not to not prepare for those tests would be silly, be foolish. Um, it would be doing yourself a disservice and the people around you. So we know that it's that we're going to be tested. So what are you going to do about it? You know, are you going to sit there and um, let life test you and you know? fail every time and and not get back up again because sometimes a test is not about passing or failing Um, i failed a lot of tests in life i failed some tests in school um, you know but i've passed a lot more than i failed Uh, when we fail things we have to get back up we're going to be tested daily every single day there's a test i don't care if you believe it or not it happens whether it's in the form of um you know things not going the way you wanted to in a in a meeting whether it's um, somebody coming into your presence that is doesn't really you don't really like or you don't really get along with it's a disagreement at home stuff happens with kids um, there's going to be failure there's going to be tests there's going to be issues every single day in life and and we decide how we respond to those things we decide how we pass that test or not and we decide how if we fail that test how we respond by either getting back up and doing um, things that are going to help us not fail the same test later or uh, not getting up and not preparing and continually failing the same test. There's always been, well, there's there's things in my life that have, that have tested me before and they used to be the same every time. Like it would test me, I would fail, test me, I would fail, test me, I would fail, test me, I would fail. And then finally I realized like this is the same test over and over and over again. Why do I keep failing? Oh, because I just keep letting that button be pushed. I just keep letting somebody get on my nerves on this same, um, you know, same subject or same problem. And then I realized that, and I was like, oh, well, now I can fix this problem. Well, then there's another one that comes along, and then you have to fix that one. And so that happens. Like, we're going to be tested every day. Like, people know where your buttons are. Satan knows where your buttons are. He knows what to do to you every day to mess you up, to get you off your game. Um, We have to realize that as well. We have to know what our buttons are, what our hot point topics are, and be able to fight that, Um, whether it be people, um, you know, businesses, whatever it is. We have to know what causes us to kind of get off our game and uh, be knocked out of, um, you know, our vision on on our life and on our business and on things, so on our purpose. So that's something I struggled with for a long time was like, you know, not knowing, well, knowing what my issues are, but not really doing a whole lot about it. Like, oh, well, I'll get mad at that this time. Oh, well, I'll get mad at this. You know, and I just kept going on and on and on and on about this stuff. And then finally I was like, oh, wait, that's the same thing I've been dealing with for a year or six months or 10 years or whatever it was. And then I was able to correct that. Um, You know, there's always going to be things we struggle with, but the more we realize what they are and how we respond to them, the more we can start to adjust to those things. You know, I know when I'm tired, um, I haven't been sleeping well or I'm busy and I'm frustrated or whatever. I don't go, I don't get around a lot of people. 
I'm pretty much an extrovert all the time, but if I'm tired, then I don't need to be around people because um, they get on my nerves and I get on their nerves, and, and it's just not a, a, a healthy um, relationship or time spent together. And so now I know when I'm tired, I just don't, I just stay home or I go do something by myself or listen to a, a podcast or read a book or something. Um, you know, I know certain people that I, I'm not going to be around because they're going to basically suck the joy and the energy out of the room you know there, I know that there's certain people I want to be around when I don't feel good because they're going to lift me up and they're going to speak uh, life into me and help me see where I'm I'm messing things up so but it's all a test it's all um, it's all this process of life that we go through and if we fail you know daily so what get back up if we succeed daily awesome get back up the next day and try again (laughs) oh my gosh hey bingo I'm so glad that y'all are watching this so if you fail in life it's okay we all fail we just have to get up and keep moving forward if we succeed in life that's great too get up keep moving forward it's just a process somebody um, told me a few weeks ago that um, life was not an event it's a process And so if something happened to you today, you can overcome it tomorrow. If something happens to you tomorrow, you can overcome it the next day. It's okay. We just just keep moving. Just keep moving forward. Keep getting up. Keep standing up. Brush your shoulders off. Keep moving forward. um, And you can do it. Tests um, yield endurance. The more we're tested, the more endurance we're going to have. The more you lift weights, the stronger you're going to get. The more you run, the faster you'll run, the farther you'll run. It's the same with everything. The more you study God's Word, the better you're going to be in it. Um, the more you play basketball, the better you'll be. So, guys, if you have a test right now, if you're going through a test, 